Welcome to SuperStockScreener.com's tutorial on how to use our stock screener. Our stock screener is one of the most powerful online because in addition to allowing you to screen for traditional financial metrics, it allows you to screen for stocks based on how they are rated by our proprietary rating system. Our rating system is based on a proprietary model that assigns buy and sell recommendations on all 6,000 stocks on our database. A stock can be rated as a strong buy, buy, hold, sell, and strong sell. For more information about our rating system, please check out the tutorial for this service. So, let's get started. From anywhere on the site, click on the Stock Screener tab in the main menu. On the Stock Screener page, you'll be presented with different screening criteria available to you. The checkboxes near the top of the page allow you to filter for specific items such as a stock rated as a strong buy, the stock's previous rating last month, the exchange this stock is trading on, and its sector. Just below are numeric-based filters you can screen for. In addition to price, market cap, dividend yield, and PE, if you click on Add Criteria, you will see additional financial metrics that you can screen for, including free cash flow, earnings growth, dividend growth, and more. To add criteria to your list, simply click them. So, let's run through an example. Let's say I want to filter for stocks that have a price-to-sales ratio less than 1 and return on investment greater than 0. First, we need to add both filter criteria to our screen. This is done by clicking both ROI and price-to-sales. Notice after I click on them, the two criteria were just added to the filters above. Now, I need to set up the actual screen. In the case of ROI, I need to set the minimum filter to zero. This is done by entering a zero in the minimum column. As for price to sales, since the maximum I'm going to allow is one, I need to enter a one in the max column. By the way, when I enter the data, notice how the orange sliders are automatically adjusted. These sliders are there for you if you want to simply drag and drop with your mouse as opposed to typing the actual filter criteria. Now that my filters are set up, it's time to generate a list of stocks that meet the screen's criteria. Simply click on the Get Results button and within a couple of seconds, you will see a list of stocks that match your filter. If there are many stocks, you'll notice at the bottom of this page, multiple page links. Simply click them to view additional results. Now, many of our members like to filter for stocks that are highly rated by our rating system. To do this, scroll to the top of the page and make sure that only strong buy and or buy ratings are checked. Some members like to take it one step further. They prefer to buy stocks that have become stock buys just recently and were previously rated as a sell or strong sell. To accomplish this, all you have to do is set the previous rating to sell and strong sell. Once you're ready, simply click on the Get Results button. By the way, if you'd like to conduct further analysis, I urge you to download all your data to a spreadsheet. The Download button is just at the bottom of this page. And that concludes our tutorial on how to use our stock screener. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to contact us by email or by phone. If you know anyone who might benefit from this video, I encourage you to share with them. And if you found this video helpful, please click the like button below. We would really appreciate it. Thank you very much and have a nice day.